And welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. Soon to be four, I know. <laughs> and today in this video, we are going to be going through my hospital bag so you all can see what I am bringing to the hospital as an Orthodox Jew. Yes, folks, the time is drawing closer and I have been preparing, as you guys have seen in a lot of my more recent videos, I have been kind of thinking of things that I need to get ready and one of them was pack my hospital bag. So my son helped me pack it up last night and it's it's ready to go, it's pretty much. There's like a couple of things to add, <laughs> like my phone charger and my wallet, but those things aren't gonna go until the very end and I will talk to you about that little list, I guess, at the end. Anyways. Uh, we're just going to go through the bag. I'm going to show you guys everything that I am going to be bringing to the hospital. Um, and many of these decisions are just like normal, what you would bring to the hospital to have a baby. And some of them are like specifically because I am an Orthodox Jew and I have certain needs uh, because of that. So we'll be going through and I'll be talking about everything that I'm going to be bringing. All right. First and foremost and a Jewish item is my Sidor, my prayer book. So this particular Sidor is one that I made myself and it has... Um, all of the prayers for both during the week and for Shabbat in it, as well as like some extra Tehillim, Psalms. So this is gonna be a really good handy book for me to have while I'm there. I still want to be davening every day. I don't necessarily have to, like while I'm in labor or anything like that. I won't daven while I'm in labor. I won't pray while I'm in labor, but I want to be able to pray like, you know, after or if I have an epidural or something like that, you know, I want to be able to to have this so that I can continue praying while I'm in the hospital. I also don't know how long I will be there. So yeah, all of that. So I pack this. Next up, I've got a little bag of toiletries. This is just a cute little bag that I got in a craft swap. And now I know that my hospital usually provides toiletries for me because I have birthed this hospital before. But just in case, and for my own peace of mind, I wanted to go ahead and pack my own. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so what I have in here, I have got a little bar of soap, some shampoo, conditioner, more conditioner. And like I said, I probably don't need two conditioner, but whatever. Toothpaste, chapstick, because I know that my lips will get dry in the hospital and I'm a little chapstick obsessed anyways lately. So yeah, I definitely wanted to pack that. Some lotion for the same reason. I am packing dental floss. I don't know that I'm actually going to floss while I'm there in the hospital, but I wanna make sure that I have the option. I have been flossing like super religiously during this pregnancy. And as a result, I didn't get any cavities this time. So I figured there's probably something to that. Uh, I normally get cavities only when I'm pregnant. So um, I'm packing floss. So I also have like a little baggie of tissues. I really probably don't need my own tissues, but if I hate their tissues, at least I'll have these. So tissues. I grabbed a few hair ties, which really I'll probably just need maybe in the shower. I don't know. Um, I'll probably want to wash my hair when I take a shower, but I don't know. We'll see. I just wanted to make sure that I had the option again. It's not like it takes up a lot of space. All right, last item, some alcohol wipes. I have found these to be super, super handy for nausea. Um, who knew? It was a trick that a doctor gave me when I was incredibly ill recovering from a surgery. Anyways, don't need to go into the details on that one, but um, if you open one of these and like hold it under your nose, it helps the nausea go away and it actually worked, at least back then. So I'm bringing these in case I get nauseous during labor. Anyways, that is my little toiletry bag. Okay, so what else is in here? All right, I am bringing a book. I actually have not picked up, I'm, I'm in the middle of this book. It's uh, Robin Carr, Temptation Ridge. It's one of the Virgin River books. I have been reading this series for a while. I actually haven't even picked up this book since I started learning Navi, which is Prophets. So, um, I'll have it just in case. It's it's really more if I'm in the hospital over Shabbat. If I wasn't, if like if I knew I wasn't gonna be in the hospital over Shabbat, I wouldn't bring this. But because there is that chance, 
there's seven days in a week and I'll be in the hospital for three, four, maybe five days. I'm usually there for a long time because I have really long labors. And um, so I don't know, if I end up in recovery over Shabbat, I will definitely want to have a book to read to help pass the time because I won't be watching TV. I won't really, I won't have any visitors. My husband may or may not be there. I may send, if I'm feeling good, I'll send him home, you know. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> We're still working out all those details. And yes, there is still time to work out those details, so don't worry. But anyways, I wanted to make sure that I brought uh, just a silly book to read in case I am there recovering and there's just a, that's a lot of hours to not really talk to anybody or have anything to do. So uh, bring in a book. Oh, also on my list of what I am bringing that I need to add to the bag later is my Navi book, my Prophets book, because I will be learning that uh, while I'm recovering as well, kind of off and on in there. That's my plan anyways, you know how plans are. So yeah, I do have the plan to continue learning Navi as I'm recovering because I'm sure I'll get a little, I'm gonna try to get ahead before I go because I do a chapter a day, but I may fall behind uh, or I may fall behind while I'm in labor or whatever, depending on how long that is and how that goes. So uh, I will be packing that book to bring as well and hopefully we'll be getting to that as well. Okay, let's talk about food. Let's talk about food. Cliff Bars. Okay, so Cliff Bars are kosher and I wanted to make sure that I had a good kosher snack. These are great because they have the protein, they've got the carbs, they've got a little bit of sugar, they got a little bit of fat. Like it's a really solid snack to have in labor and it's really good also for like while I'm in recovery. Um, the food situation, as far as that goes, this hospital does not have kosher food. So I will have to have people bring food to me, which is why I'm bringing a bunch of food with me as well. And yes, I do eat while I'm in labor. <laughs> I am not giving medical advice. I am not giving medical advice. I have very, very long labors. My longest labor was three days. My shortest one was a little over uh, like 26 hours. So I hope that this one will be shorter. You never know, but uh, I need to eat in there. There needs to be some form of sustenance or it's just not gonna happen. So that's. Yeah, I bring food. Plus, again, like I said, after labor, that's gonna be a great snack to eat, especially if I'm like waiting for someone to bring me food and I just need to eat right now. I can go ahead and eat those instead of eating like a pudding or something. All right, some other food items I'm bringing are some kosher beef jerky. Again, because of that protein and stuff, if I just start really craving like meat or something, I'll be able to eat these. Uh, I am just gonna have to be conscientious of eating meat because I mostly am bringing dairy snacks. So I may, I may not even eat these, but I wanted to make sure that I had the option because I feel like this would be a really good snack in labor. As far as meat goes, like I'd love to like make a sandwich or something before I go, but I don't want to be like in labor going, oh gee, let me make a sandwich and then we'll go to the hospital. Like, no, I just want to be ready to go. So I just put that in the bag. Speaking of dairy, got my chocolate. I'm bringing some chocolate. Again, chocolate's great with the carbs and the fat and it'll just make me feel good. So especially if like, labor's not going well or if I feel like I'm like oh I'm kind of down this is taking a long time or like whatever it is I can give myself a little chocolate pick me up or if I need to give myself a little chocolate reward for getting through some big contractions or whatever I have these so again I'll just need to be careful about eating the meat and the dairy and that'll be my husband's job no doubt to keep an eye on that for me <laughs> I think that's all the food that I packed okay what else did I pack oh labor okay so um, I am packing one of my snoods into my bag. So this is one of my snood head coverings. And I'm packing this one in particular because it stays on really well. It's a little bit tighter. So this will stay on really well. So like if I'm in labor and I'm wearing like a scarf like this, or if I'm just wearing any other head covering literally that I own, I'm gonna wanna be wearing this when I'm actually like in labor and delivering the baby and postpartum and stuff. Cause I don't really have to worry about this one slipping or anything, so I packed this one in the bag. I'm just not even wearing it right now because I'm just saving it to make sure that I have it for labor and delivery. So this way, no matter how I show up to the hospital, I will have this one to wear when I get there. And again, I won't have to worry about like before I go, having this checklist of like, oh, well, I need to pack a sandwich and oh, I need to change my hair covering and oh, and like, no. I wanna keep that list as short as possible. Okay, next up, I have a little plastic bag which is holding my sandals. So I'm just bringing like a little pair of flip flops because these will be great to wear in the shower. Hold on, that bag is loud. So those will be great to wear in the shower or just like walking around the room. 
So y'all know that I like to be barefoot, but um, this is not my floor that I'm gonna be walking on. So I am packing those flip flops so that I'll have something to just very easily slip onto my feet and be able to walk around. And plus those can go in the shower, no worries, things like that. So that is why I'm packing those. Normally I just bring those camping with me to like slip on when I walk out of the tent and things like that real quick. They are wrapped up in the plastic bag just cause I don't want like my shoes touching my other stuff in here. Oh. My toothbrush. So this did not fit into the bag of toiletries, but I do have this toothbrush here. It's just a brand new one in a package and that's what I am bringing. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that they provide one for me every time that I've delivered at this hospital before. There's been a really nice bag of toiletries and things like that to make my stay there more comfortable. It's very nice, but um, I'd rather bring my own because it'll be nicer probably than what they have packed in the bag, just to guess. And again, I'll know that I have one because I will for sure want to brush my teeth while I'm there. Oh, I do have a little bit more food. Candy. So these are just some gummy candy. So this is gonna be like the high sugar, high carb thing. If I'm getting tired or if I just really need to pick me up or something like that, these are gonna be really good. So I've got, okay, so these are grapefruit. Um, yeah, they're there. And these are gummy bears. Ooh, I love gummy bears. And they're like the good chewy gummies, so that'll be fun. All right. I have a power cord adapter for my phone. I wanna make sure that my phone stays charged while I'm there so that I can communicate with people and have some entertainment and that sort of thing. I don't like to watch TV. I don't have a TV. I wouldn't even know what to do like on a television. Like, I mean, I know how to work a TV, but like I wouldn't know what channels I wanna watch or anything like that. So um, I'd rather just use my phone if I wanted to put on a podcast or an audio book or a TV show or anything like that. But anyhow, so I packed this. Um, this power adapter. So if I forget to put my charger in my bag, I can at least like grab whatever is in the car on my way up or send my husband out to the car to get it or whatever. Um, so I've got this at least. So all I need is the cord, which I already know is in my car and my husband's car. Okay, little recovery stuff. Next item, the Mother Love Nipple Cream. This stuff is amazing. I've used it with all of my kids. It's a total lifesaver. So yeah, I just, I pack this so that it's already there and good to go and I can start using it just right away as sort of a preemptive measure. Okay, so here is another little Shabbat item. If I am in the hospital over Shabbat, I still get to light candles. However, you can't light candles in a hospital. So I've packed in this little bag here Hold on, let me get these out. Two little electric tea lights. Sorry, there's like dust flying around the camera. They're super fun. So they turn on, they even kind of flicker a little bit. No, I think that's pretty fun. Yeah. So anyways, these are gonna be packed in the bag. I actually have three. There's an extra one just in case I have an issue with one. So this way I can still light two candles for Shabbat while I am there. And I have been, for two of my kids, I've been in the hospital over Shabbat and needed to light in the hospital. So that is what these are for that I will be able to do that. So once I was, uh, I was in labor over Shabbat and then the other one I was in recovery over Shabbat. I actually went home on Saturday on Shabbat, but I was still there when Shabbat started. So I got to light my little candles. So I got those tea lights so that I would be able to do that. All right, we're getting towards the end. Okay, in this bag, just a Trader Joe's grocery bag so that these things are separated and easier to get through because I won't need this until the end. I just packed some clothes that I can wear home. So I've just got one of my black maternity skirts that I wear all the time. I own like four or five of those. And then just a maternity shirt because I am still gonna look maternity-ish for a little bit and then, uh, you know, under things. So um, that bag is just gonna be in there and ready to go for me so that when I'm ready to go home, I'll be able to get changed and that will be done. And of course the baby has to wear something home. So I put the baby's things in a little bag. So I brought baby socks. I think this pajamas things might have feet on them. I'm not totally sure. Uh, well, let's open it up and find out. But I got some little pajamas here for the baby. I opted on purpose for a gender neutral so that I could show it to you guys. Yes, this does have feet. How cute is this? Isn't this so cute? Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. Um, yeah, but the socks, maybe if we're having like fingernail issues, I can always put the socks on the hands of the baby to help protect if they're scratching or anything. And you know what, actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna probably wash this today and then 
put it back in here. So, but yeah, how cute is this cute little outfit with little bunnies on it and carrots? No carrots, just bunnies, but bunnies are adorable. So um, yeah, I just, I got this for the baby to wear home and then we've got the socks if I need them. And that is what is in my hospital bag. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk a couple of items that I am not bringing. I am not bringing any extra pillows or blankets or anything like that. I see a lot of people that will bring their own pillows and blankets. I don't understand that. It's all gonna get dirty. <laughs> and I don't wanna deal with that. And I don't want that laundry when I come home. And I can always ask for extra pillows and blankets there at the hospital. So yeah, not gonna do that. And I'm not bringing any special clothes to wear during the labor, not my thing. I, again, I don't see the point in buying an outfit to wear one time because I, I don't see that I would ever wear it again. They look super cute and comfy and adorable like these hospital things that you can buy, like bring your own hospital gown kind of a deal. I just, I can't justify spending the money on that. I Maybe I'm too practical, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Another item that I'm not going to bring are any kind of essential oils. I personally do like essential oils. I don't use them all the time or anything like that, but I do enjoy like diffusing them for the smells and and that sort of thing. But uh, in the hospital, I really wouldn't want that. Well, A, I don't wanna bring a diffuser. <laughs> and B, I don't wanna bring the oils because then the, the smell is in the room. And if I decide that that smell's not working for me, I'm stuck with it. And I don't wanna be stuck with anything. I wanna be able to change anything in an instant if it's not working for me so that I can make that space really work for me. Another thing that I'm not going to be bringing is anything that the baby needs because they will have everything there that the baby needs. I don't need to bring diapers. I don't need to bring wipes or anything like that. Uh, I'm not that particular about what kind of brands of things that I use, whatever they're gonna give me there is going to be just fine because I just kind of feel like whatever I don't need to bring, like why would I bring it? I know some people like to bring their own certain things and that's just, that's great for them, but that's not for me. So I just wanna keep things very simple and easy. Okay, so the last thing that I will not be bringing is a water bottle because they will give me a water bottle when I get there and I actually really love their water bottles. I'm always really sad when they inevitably like break or get lost or damaged or anything like that. Um, something about like the straw with this water bottle that they give us there. I don't know, it helps me drink like a whole lot of water and I love that. So I am just gonna be sticking with what they give me as far as that goes um, and not worrying about bringing my own and having to deal with bringing home dirty dishes because I'll be bringing home a baby and I figure that's enough. Okay, I just ran and grabbed my list of the last couple of items that I want to be adding before I leave. So this list is next to my bag so that I'll know to put these items in on my way out the door. And that is, well, I think I already said all of these, but we'll just go over it real quick. My wallet, because obviously I'll need some kind of ID and health insurance and all that when I get there. My phone charger, because even though I've got the options here in the bag, I'd rather just grab my stuff from the wall and not have to worry about remembering it in the car because driving to the hospital when you're in labor, not super comfortable. Then my phone because, well, like I said, I want to communicate with people. So we're going to be bringing that and some headphones so that I can keep a quiet room uh, and just throw my headphones in and get in my own space. And, you know, afterwards I'm not waking up the baby or whatever. And it makes it easier to talk on the phone also to have like the earbuds in. So I'm not, I'm like hands-free if I'm trying to feed a baby or deal with anything else, I can still talk to people. And my Navi book, my profits book. So just those things are on the list uh, at this point that need to be added in. And that is all. So I'm feeling much better about being prepared now that I've like gone through and kind of packed all this stuff up last night and yeah, now we're ready to go, right? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> well, for one, it is still too early. And for, for two, it's, um, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, when it happens, it happens. It's not up to me. So when it happens, that's the right time. And that's just the way it is. So anyways, that is what I am packing in my hospital bag. If you think that I am forgetting something, let me know down in the comments below while I still have time to add it. And we will see what happens. We'll see if I end up actually using all this stuff or, or what I brought for no good reason or what I felt like I was missing. But um, yeah, it's coming though, folks. I'm excited. I am getting very excited. I feel like it's getting closer and that is exciting, but there's still, I think, plenty of time. But 
Uh, again, like I said, these things aren't up to us and we shall see. So in the meantime, that is it for today. As always, I super appreciate you guys being here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I would super appreciate that. And please drop a comment down below. Let's get that conversation started. And with that, this video is done. I'm calling it a close. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. And I may throw in an extra one of these because this is a little bit on the smaller side. It is a travel size, which is great, but I may end up packing one more of these. Oops. What else is in here? Oh, this is it. Lucker. Okay, some other food. That's not food, but yeah. So I'm bringing those, but they're... I've been there before. There's been a really nice bag of toiletries and things. Dust. But, um... I'm not totally sure what that noise was, but we'll go find out in a minute. So, okay, another... Um, so another item... Another item, what did I, I just read it on my notes. Now I have to look it up again. Um, oh, I'm gonna feel so silly. All right, the last thing that I am not going to be bring.